Now here at Headbangers Ball, we really do like you, the viewers, to get involved. And as you know, we've got such features as the Triple Thrash Treat and the Metal Collection, where you can choose the videos and have your say, what we play. And uh, as you may have noticed in the past, we also like you to write in with questions for your favorite bands. And uh, we've got a view some viewers' questions coming up now. And these come from Emma Jones from Wiltshire. And apparently Emma has been a fan of the band for six years. She's really keen to meet them. And just so you know, Emma, here's the card you sent in. So they've seen it. <laughs> now, um, actually, what Emma wanted to know was um, you have a fan club in San Francisco. You can find the address on the uh, album cover. Have you any intentions to make a European fan club happen, either in Europe or Britain? Yeah, we've talked about it because um uh, you mentioned that and she mentioned that it's hard to uh, sometimes for Europeans to write to America Maybe the language or maybe it's you know far away or whatever it takes a long time So maybe that could be something for the future um, Now that we know that people have problems with it <laughs> <laughs> That's one way of finding out anyway yeah. um, And actually um, do you, She also wants to know actually Mick if I could ask you do you have any say in which singles are released from the album? Uh, yeah, we sort of have a say in it, yes, but I mean, sometimes we we'll leave it up to the to the record company mm -hmm. to sort of, uh, for example, it might sometimes fit in with their marketing strategy better mm -hmm. if we release, for example, the ballad. Marketing strategy? <laughs> that word sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and she, what other singles are you planning to release from from the album? Um, well, in. Uh, in in Europe, except for UK, we have released uh, Prisoners in Paradise as the first single, and now uh, I'll Cry For You is out. And uh, we haven't decided yet what comes after that, but I would say um, All or Nothing, maybe, Halfway to Heaven might okay. be a good choice. So we'll look out for those, and actually, um, it's just stopped now, just I'm coming to mention it, but there is actually the sound check going on in the background, so if you can hear the drums, that's what's happening. We're right in the thick of it here. And um, very quickly, um, everybody, all the bands we speak to, they say European audiences are the best in the world. Would you agree with that? Yes, absolutely. I know, it's great. Touring Europe is very special. It's a good audience. They're loyal, they, they scream, they, uh, they're very good. Do you think they pay more attention to the, like, the lyrics and the music rather than the image? Perhaps Key, you could answer that? <laughs> you have to delegate. <laughs> That's what I heard. Delegate. <laughs> Yeah, I, I suppose so, yeah. The really, the really true fans know a lot about what's going on. Right. They and they really stick with the band for like years yeah. and years, years, don't they? Yeah, we like that. That's great to have fans like that. Okay. Well, actually, going very quickly, going back to our viewer, Emma Jones in Wiltshire, I have spoken to the guys, and they are going to supply you with two backstage passes for the gig in Newport that you wanted to go to. So there you go. Headbangers has fixed it for you. And uh, thanks for organising that. And uh, we're going to take another short break now. And after that, we'll be meeting up with Europe's support band, top German rock rockers, Pink Cream 69. <laughs>